Okay, so another situation. Uh, the beam A, B, C, D is to be analyzed for maximum forces at ultimate conditions. The beam is simply supported at A, B, C, D, and E. Alright. So, given factored loads that load, these are factored, sa Wala na siyang, uh, hindi na natin kailangan applyan ng uh, load combination. Factored already. 15 kN per meter and the factored live load is 19 kN per meter. The length here is um, 8 meters. So, we are to analyze the beam A, B, C, D. So, meron tayong frame dito pero hindi na natin to kailangan figure na yan. Okay? Kasi binigay na yung loads. So, if ever na walang binigay na load, then we need to calculate the loads from here. Uh, by tributary area method. Okay? So, beam A, B, C, D. Now, we will use here the given diagrams. Binigay na yung um, shear and moment diagrams here. Walang problema. Walang magiging problema. I-check lang natin yung mga values dito. Alright. Unahin natin part 1. Maximum shear uh, at B. Maximum shear at B. So, tingnan natin yung ating beam. Like this. RA, RB, RC, RD, and RE are the reactions at each um, sports. Now, una, we have here the dead load. Factor dead load. Now, you factor dead load, and when you dead load, is always present all throughout the span. Kasi yan yung mismong uh, weight ng beam natin. But, we need to check anong load combination. I mean, ano yung ating orientation ng live load para magbigay ng maximum shear at point B. And that is by using these load patterns. What should be the load pattern of the live load? So, isa-isahin natin. Pwede rin si live load uh, present all throughout the spot. So, so, at B tayo. Titingnan natin yung ating shear diagram. Andito yan. Okay? So, at B. Ano yung pinakamalaking shear dito? You have your 0.607 WL. Tingnan lang natin yung coefficient. So, mas malaki siya compared dito. 0.536 ang siya. So, i-compare natin yan sa other diagram. So, this is 0.607. Yung pinakamalaki yung gagamitin natin. Tingnan natin yung second diagram. Ito. So, it is 0.554 only. Kanina 0.607 pag present yung live loads lahat. So, mas, mas lamang pa rin yung complete yung ating load. Now, tingnan natin yung previous, ito, pinakauna diagram. So, at B, shear at B. Again, yung shear yung titignan natin. We have your 0.620. Ito, 0.603. So, of course, mas malaki yan. Okay? At tingnan natin ulit yung pangatlong diagram. It is 0.607. Mas malaki yun. Yung previous na tinignan natin. Na mas malaki yung itong pattern yan. It is 0.20. So, we will just use this pattern load for live load. Third span and loaded. Walang load yung isang, uh, yung pangatlong span. Okay? So, gagamitin lang natin to for the shear at B. To, to have the maximum shear at B. So, okay. Nandito tayo. So, ganito yung load pattern natin for the live load. So, the maximum shear at B, so, iisa-isahin natin for the dead load, um, 0 0.607, again, kasi present sa dead load all throughout. Talagang ito lang yung gagamitin natin for the dead load. 0 0.607 times the span length is, I mean, the dead load, factor dead load is 18, and the span length is 8 meters. For the live load, i-add natin, so, nag yung 0 0.62, itong pattern load na yan. 0.62W for the live load is 19 and the length is 8. And you have 167.08 kN. Okay, so mag-ingat-ingat tayo dito sa board exam. Kasi pag meron kang nagawang, I mean nagamit na ibang coefficient dyan, I'm sure merong lalabas dyan sa ibang choices. Kaya you need to check it correctly.
ganito lang yung ginagawa natin dito sa problem niya no walang further analysis talagang i-check lang natin ano yung maximum sa part 2 determine the maximum reaction at d so reaction naman yung titingnan natin again for the dead load parating present yan sa lahat titingnan lang natin later yung uh, pp shot dito uh, reaction at d ah, ito lang isa lang talaga siya 1.143 yan yung gagamitin natin for the dead load for the live load we need to check again the pattern load anong ma, anong pattern loading yung pwede na magbibigay sa ng maximum reaction at D all right tingnan natin dito uh, the reaction at D here is 0.598 WL tingnan mo lang yung coefficient 598 okay now Kung ibabalik natin dito, yung reaction is 1.143. Obviously, mas malaki yan compared doon. Mas malaki yan compared dito, 0.598. But take note, itong pattern load na yan, pwede nating balik ta rin. Ito yung ibig ko sabihin. Pwede, uh, andito yung load na yan, then wala dito. Ito yung third span measured from this outer support. Da? So, um, yung ibig kong sabihin dito, pag titingnan natin yung isang value, always check the other uh, symmetrical portion, which is dito at B. Symmetrical yan, kasi pwede naman natin balik ta rin si B. Paikutin natin. So, this is 1.223. Obviously, mas malaki yan. No? Tingnan natin dito. Mas malaki yan compared here. 1.143. The same yan. That means, gagamitin natin yung... Uh, part na yon i mean for the uh, live load gagamitin natin to for the for the maximum reaction at d okay so bakit yan sir again you can flip you can flip the loading pwede andito yung ating unloaded span okay na ko i-check naman natin yung isa pang uh, pattern load obviously napakaliit niyan kahit saan ka tumingin dito 5 0.572 0.572 so, yung nag is itong pattern load na yan for the live load. So, kung titignan natin, ganito yan, di ba? For the live load. But again, you can flip that load like this. So, magiging maximum na dito si B. So, basically, yung titignan mo lang, yung either symmetrical portion niya of the B. Kung i-flip natin si load. So, for the dead load, the maximum uh, uh, reaction for D, gagamitin natin to again, 1.143. You have here 1.143, the dead load is 15, the span length is 8. Plus the live load, 1.223. Ito yung ginamit natin. 1.223. We have 323.06 kilonewtons. Letter C. Okay? Maximum yung hinahanap. Kaya letter C yung answer. Okay, part 3. Determine the maximum positive moment. Okay, basahin na maigi yung tatanong ha. Positive moment yung inahanap at the span AB. Span AB only. Yung i-check natin. Alright, so again, basta dead load, present yan parate. Moment na yung titingnan natin. Moment. The span AB. Okay, maximum positive moment, ito lang yan, wala nang iba. Pwede tumingin ka sa kabila, the same yan, kasi symmetrical yan basta. Uh, yung ating load is present all the time on the span. Ngayon sa live load, titingnan natin for span AB. So, ito yung uh, pattern loading for the live load. We have here 0 0.072. So, maximum ha? Ma I mean, positive moment. Huwag mo nang tingnan yung negative moment dyan. 0 0.072. Again, you can always check the other symmetrical portion of the beam. Kung if we flip natin yung load. It is 0 0.09. 0 0.09. Ito naman 0 0.072. Mas malaki to. Mas magiging malaki yung 0 0.0977. No? But, take note. Uh, doon sa pattern na to. Yung pattern na to, ito 0 
0.077 na. Ito naman is mas malaki to 0.0977. So it might be to yung gagamitin ulit natin na pattern load for maximum moment. Ngayon, i-check pa natin yung isang um, pattern loading. All right. Now, tingnan lang natin yung AB. This one is 0 0.0996. Okay? 996. Mas malaki yan. Kung titingnan mo naman dito sa kabila, um, 0 0.536 yan. Palit ng palit yan. No? So, ito yung obviously na mag-gagabar. Lan nga yung kabila. 0 0.996 ha. Tandaan nyo yan. At dito, 0 0.977. No? 9.77. Kanina, I miss a second pattern load. 9. Ah. No, hindi. 0 0.0996. So, this is greater than that one. Kasi 9.7 yan. No? Mas malaki yung etong load pattern na yan. 9.96. So, we will use this pattern load for maximum moment. Okay? I hope you understand my pop. Ano dito? yung explanation natin. So, ito yung ating pattern loading. The maximum moment for the span AB, una for the dead load, yung coefficient natin, 0 0.772. This one, 0, 0 0.0772. WL squared, the, the dead load is 15, yung length is 8 squared. And for the live load, ito yung ginamit natin na coefficient. 0 0.0 996WL squared. 0 0.0996 the W for that live load is 19. The length is 8 squared. I mean 8. We have here 195.23 kilonewton meter. Okay. But actually, um, this is not really the exact value of the moment. Kasi, kung ilolocate natin to, ito, yung maximum moment for that part, Tingnan mo yung location. It is 0 0.393 in, uh, in length. That's 39.3% of the span length, uh, 8 meters. Yung location niya from the lab support. Yeah? Now, kung iti-check naman natin yung location nito, yung moment na yan, uh, dito, iba siya, 0 0.446 in terms of length. Hindi sila coinciding, hindi sila the same point, in other words. No? So, hindi, actually, hindi to exact value or detailed solution. Pero kung merong lalabas choices dyan, like for this one, for this board exam, ito yung ginamit lang ni examiner, may lumabas that that could be your answer already. No? Especially pag malayo, magkalayo yung ating mga values dito. Already, uh, that's already the answer. Kasi uh, yan yung ginamit ni examiner. Pero kung isasolve natin to correctly in detailed uh, way, okay? Uh, solve natin correctly. Let's just focus on part of the span AB. Uh, gamitan natin ng moment diagram. Shear and moment diagram. Alright. So gusto natin makuha yung maximum span moment here. So the shear will start at zero, the shear and moment. For, my, uh, for our detailed solution, Let's calculate first the reaction at A. So the uh, reaction at A. So we will still use this one. Kasi ang galing, uh, galing to solution na yan sa elastic analysis. The reaction at A for this uh, patterned load, that will be 0 0.393 uh, dead load times 8. Ginamit natin to. 0 0.393. For the live load naman, live load naman, ito naman yung nag na reaction at A. 0 0.446. Again, ito yung ginamit natin. 0 0.446 W times 8. That a uh, live load, by the way, is 19. So, this is our reaction. And that reaction here, yung reaction na yan, that is the shear at A. Okay? Ito yung shear at A. Bale, aakyat tayo dito. 114.952 Alright, ngayon the, the shear at B The shear at B Immediately to the left of B That will be this one 
114.952 minus the total area. And the total area here uh, under that part is 19, uh, I mean 15 plus 19. That's the total magnitude of the load here. 15 plus 19 times length. Bali area nyan. Times length. So makukuha natin dito yung uh, shear at B immediately at the left. Negative siya, of course. So ito yan. Negative 157.048. So this is our shear diagram for the span AB. Okay. Ngayon, yung ating uh, maximum moment, of course, that will happen where the shear is zero. Maximum positive moment. And dito yan. Okay. So how to calculate that moment? So kunin natin yung location. That's X. Dapat the same location siya. Ito naman is 8 minus x. So we can calculate that one directly in value ng x. You will have here 114.952 uh, then minus the area under that part. Ito, area ng load. So the, the area of the load is again uh, 19 plus 15 yung magnitude nito times x. Kuha natin yung location x. Of course, that should be equal to zero. Zero, uh, zero yung shear natin dyan. The shear here is zero. Kuha natin yung x. So, the maximum moment, uh, the maximum positive moment on the span AB will be equal to the area of the triangle. Diba? That's the change in moment. The area under shear diagram is the change in moment. So, yung change in moment, area ng triangle, one half, the base is x, which is 3.381, and the height is 114.952. That will give us 194.326. And look at the value. Napakaliit na ang difference dyan. Kaya, siguro, ginamit na lang na examiner is yung uh, combine na lang kahit hindi sila the same point. But again, kung walang exact values na lumabas dito, in case lang, then try to use this approach. Okay? So, of course, ganito yung magiging uh, moment diagram dyan. Kinuha ko na lang yan. You can solve that one by subtracting that area to this area. No? Negative area. So, again, yung ginamit lang dito is yung uh, hindi detail approach. No? Which is that one. Inad nya lang directly. So, I hope that is uh, clear. No? You can use that one kung walang lumabas exactly sa calculation mo kung ginamit mo yung ating pattern. So, that's it for this situation.